In this video, I will compare Flutterflow versus Adelo and tell you which of these two app builders is best for native apps and for web apps, since you can use them both to create both mobile and native and web apps. So in my opinion, one of them is better for web and the other for mobile slash native. But first I want to go and take a look at their pricing since this is a pretty important distinction in this comparison. You will see with Adelo, you do have the free plan where you can start building your app. Then you have the starter plan where you can actually publish your app. So you can publish to the app stores and to the web. And then you can also get a custom domain and custom font in this plan. Then you have the professional plan for two published apps and 15,000 monthly app actions. Here you will also unlock custom integrations. Then you have the team plan for larger teams and more apps and business for even more apps. So comparing this to Flutterflow's pricing, you'll see that Flutterflow also has a completely free plan right here. And in this plan, you can start building your application. Then the standard plan at $30 per month will get you the code download so that you can actually export the code. And on top of that, you will get custom domain web publishing and APK download. So if you want to publish to the web, you can do it in this plan. But if you want to actually deploy it to the Apple and Google App Store, then you will need to get the Pro $70 per month plan. Here you will also unlock the GitHub integration. Then if you want more users, you will need to get the team plan. So basically to do a mobile or native app, it will cost $70 per month in Flutterflow, but you can start building it completely for free. While with Adelo, many of the features that you may want to use when building it are not included in the free plan, but you can actually get started for $45 per month to publish to the app stores. Now with that being said, I still think that Flutterflow is best for native and mobile apps. And if you just want to build a web app, then I would go with Adelo, but overall I think Flutterflow is the winner if you want to build native and mobile apps or maybe you want to build native, mobile and web apps. I think overall Flutterflow is the better option when comparing these two. So that concludes this comparison of Flutterflow versus Adelo. If this comparison was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.